As I've gone over many times before in the history of this series, it's tough to be taken seriously when you're known for your association with someone else. In the case of today's band, The Distillers, that's more of a dividend than a detriment. The Distillers first formed in Los Angeles, California in 1998, with lead vocalist Ozzy Bourne Brody Doll meeting bassist Kim Chief Hulman in that same year. Later, they would recruit guitarist Rose Casper Mazzola and drummer Matt Young, who didn't have a nickname. The band had some pretty good grins from the beginning, mostly because Brody was married to Rancid from and Tim Armstrong. That connection led to them being signed to Epitaph Records, and in 2000 they would release their self title debut through its offshoot label Hellcat Records. Shortly after that, Kim and Matt would leave to be replaced by Ryan Sin and Andy Grinelli. Later, guitarist Rose Mazzola would leave the band to be replaced by Tony Bradley Bevilacqua, I hope I'm saying that correctly, and it was learned that the band would keep until their breakup in 2006. Now, obviously, the band released two more albums after their debut, but not long after their third album, Andy would leave, then Ryan leaving Brody and Tony as the last two members until the break. Up. However, all four would return for their 2018 reformation, so... Woo. And with rumours of possible new music from the band soon, what will it sound like as I go over the band's past? Well, that's what I look forward to finding out. I'll see you soon as I cover all three other albums, and as always, thank you for watching, you're awesome. Bye-bye.